Hi, I'm Daryl from Monday Demand. You're tuning in for your next one minute educational video. Today we're going to talk about that backsplash you're just looking at. So what we have here is we have a really nice backsplash and you can tell that the grout here is all nice and color matching. Uh, but the issue here is that you can see it's cracking. And what's happened is you, there, I'll take you to this side over here. You can see it's just kind of like a little bit of a crack. And then as we go across, it just gets a little bit bigger and it gets a little bit bigger and gets a little nastier. And we start even missing little chunks here. So what's going on here is that a lot of tile guys, when they're doing tile in the backsplash, they're going to use the, the grouting on the tile and they're gonna grout the joint between the tile and the countertop to make it pretty. But what happens is that as the countertop expands and contracts when it gets hot and when it gets cold, it expands and contracts at a different rate than the tile does. And that's gonna create a separation between the tile and the countertop. And there could be other variations as well as like settling and shifting and stuff like that. The point is grout is not forgiving. It is not flexible. So it will crack and separate versus caulk won't. But most guys won't use caulk because it's not color matching. So it's very hard to get color matching caulk. So when you're doing a new backsplash, you want the customer to be happy. You're gonna do all this beautiful work here. Uh, and then you're gonna have a nice grout line here, which is gonna look pretty, but you know, a year later it's gonna crack, come apart. And then someone like me has to come in and now we have to do something about it. So one, if I regrout it, it's just gonna happen again. <laughs> so it'll look pretty, but it'll happen again. Two, probability of color matching, uh, older grout, very small, because as the grout discolors from age, use, wear and tear, um, even if you had the original grout, it probably wouldn't match anymore and highly unlikely to be able to find that stuff anymore. So we're gonna have to caulk it. Um, almond is probably the right case here. If you're doing a new tiled backsplash for someone or having it done at your house, you want that joint gone over with a clear silicone that'll help hold the grout together and help keep it from cracking and pulling apart because the silicone is flexible and forgiving uh, and will help with the thermal expansion of the joint between the tile and the backsplash. I know there's a lot of information I threw at you real fast. Bottom line is basically, if you're getting your tile backsplash done, just have them caulk the transition so those can crack back open and you don't have that problem. I'm Daryl from Honey Demand. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you found it educational and informational because sometimes it's not a tile guy you need or a cabinet guy you need or kitchen guy you need. Sometimes it's just a honey demand you need to solve those uh, problems you have and answer those questions. Thanks for tuning in.